you sure he's not had a shower? I brushed his teeth. I changed his clothes. Them trackies will walk themselves to the washer at this rate. Well, that's not like Nick. Well, you're telling me. He spends more on moisturiser than I get in tax credits. Or the old Nick did. No, nope. I tried all sorts. Pub lunch, says he won't be hungry. Swimming, it's too much like physio. Pictures, I even said I'd supersize his popcorn. No joy, says the screen will give him migraines. Looks like it. I can still hear you, you know. No, nope. there's only one thing that'll lift him and he can't have it. Leah. Well, she's scared, I suppose. Worried about getting his hopes up. But she didn't say never. As good as. Well, she needs to know what he's been like. Really like. No, if Leanne's going to change her mind, she's got to do it because she loves him. Not because she feels sorry for him. How much did you say these cost? Two ninety nine reduced. Oh, from Fresh Girl? Yep, that's the one good thing about having your party after the big day. See, I'm so considerate. Mm. These bloody cakes are done. Hey, Missy. Bloody cakes. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you off. Should I language at school? Uh, from the other kids, I hope, not you. Oh, no, Grace. That's my dad. I know he's not. Hiya. Hiya. Here you go, one black T-shirt. It's big enough for three of you, mind. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's only to go underneath a bin liner. What's so scary about bin liner? Nothing. To keep it dry when you're doing duck apple. I... I'm the Weatherfield witch. <laughs> yeah, you and every other kid on the street. Not Grace. <laughs> you surprise me. She's hiring hers from Fancy Jans and she's getting a makeup done professionally. And why aren't you? Because she's got a costume. Yeah, but she's the hostess. She's got a lot of the best. I'll get you something if you want. How many times do I have to... Have a shop? With a wig in that? Yeah, why not? Because it's not a fashion show. Oh, do you know what? That'd be really nice of you, wouldn't it, Owen? Because the house is going to look fantastic once you've done, but... Uh... A costume over the icing on the cake, thanks. The bloody cake? Hey. <laughs> Dad, come look at this. Let him pull his flipping weight for once. You've obviously come back for a reason. I came back for my son, Gail, and for this place. And my husband, so I thought. Please, Leanne, think again. I'm trying to think about this. I wouldn't come if I wasn't desperate. Oh, yes, you would. Look, if you could just see the state he's in. I mean, he's been down before, but the mood he's in now, it's... It's in a different league. And how do you think he's going to feel when his business goes bust? Because if you don't get off me back, that's what's going to happen. Can't you understand how hard this is for me? I came in this morning, I wanted to take a baseball bat to that bar. It hurts. Like he was hurt on your wedding day when you went running back to Peter. You've both made mistakes. <sighs> You're just lucky. Yours didn't land you in hospital. But if they had, I'm sure Nick wouldn't have walked out on you. At ease. No transportation required. This is just a pit stop. You don't mind, do you? Beth's doing my heading. Mind? I could do with distraction. Look at this. I've turned into some sad old bag who is highlighting the programmes in the TV guide. <laughs> Acid brights, though. Still bang on trend. Mm. Depends about the only thing that is. I mean, what's going on? I spend my evenings watching blokes with boils bigger than their personalities and my days staring at these four walls. Book a holiday. No money, no one to go with. Start a night school class. Oh, the smell of self-improvement brings me out in a rash. Kickboxing? I don't want violence. I want fun. What are you doing later? Working. Mm. Jason and Eva aren't. Eva? I know she's got her knockers, but, you know, she can be a right hoot when she's on form. You should give it a go. I guarantee it won't go in vain. Right, right. Well, I'll, I'll make some tea then, have some wine and a few laughs. Yeah, just a few, mind. You won't even notice that you're not there. <laughs> right. First question. Are your hands clean? And I mean squeaky clean. I've just washed them. Yeah. Are you any good at fiddly jobs? Oh, yeah, he is. Have you seen these models? They're best. Right answer. Peel them grapes for us while you're waiting for your dinner. We're having spooky punch tonight. Orange juice, blood red food colouring, and crunchy eyeball floaters. Faye's Halloween party? And before you say it, we know it's not Halloween, but it's the next best thing. You coming? Yes, please. Oh, no, sorry, sir, you can't. Oh, what? I'm sorry, I'm working all day, and I've got this business lunch on 20 movers and shakers. Their words. So my dad can take me? Oh, no, he can't. He's out with Carla. Something to do with the factory. I'm... I asked him, but he's already said he can't have you. Nick, then. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Me and my big mouth, eh? Nick's not well, you know that. 
He took Max to the park the other day. Well, he wasn't on his own. He had a kick around and it went in goal. Yeah, and he probably spent the rest of the week laid up in bed, I bet. If he's all right going in goal, he can walk him up the road to a party, a totally awesome Halloween party. Sai, you don't understand. Nick's not up to it. He's not up to it, or you're not up to asking. At last, a friendly face. Hey, have you seen the gob on Smile a while? <laughs> he is creeping me out. Mind you, he always has one, ever since we were a kid. They used to say he can move things across the room just by looking at him. What are you having? Uh, I'll have a vodka and coke. Well, I'd better have it without the vodka, actually. All oh, right. Let me guess. Are you operating heavy machinery? No, a wrecking ball would be good right through that office. You know, if one more of those drivers tip up late with the settle. Oh, should I be hearing this? Criticism of my darling son's business? No, well, that just puts the tin lid on a fabulous day. What? I said I'd make a special tea for my son and his airhead of a girlfriend. And? Well, he's working and she'd rather do salsa in a sweaty sport, so well, she won't get invited again anytime <laughs> soon, will she? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. It's true, you know. I'm bored. I mean it, Nick. I'm climbing the walls here. Go, baby. Oh, yeah, cos changing nappies is a blast. Got a baby, family, home, got everything. Well, I can see how it might look that way from where you're sitting. From any angle. But I do think life will pick up for you. Things will fall into place, you'll see. Mm. Run all my breath. But me being back at the bistro, I mean, what harm can it do? Yeah. You under Leanne's nose, cracking on with the customers, flashing that smile. Reminding her what we did, yeah. What harm can it do? It was one night. A stupid mistake. Am I never going to be allowed to forget it? Yeah, we are where we are. Yeah, in flaming limbo. I'll get it. Oh, hello. Nick in. Don't worry, I'm not stopping. We've got that Jensen networking lunch today. Do you need more staff? No, I'm all right. I've just come to tell you that Simon's been invited to a party and he wants you to take him. <sighs> Jenna's due in a bit. Why don't you get yourself off? You don't want to miss visiting. The hours are flexible. And do you know when she's coming home yet? The uh, doctors aren't sure. It's a test on tests. But Hayley's keen to get home, of course. Is everything all right, Roy? All right. Ah. Oh, hiya. Yeah. Hey, did you get it? Get what? Ah, very funny. We're wondering what you picked. Does it fit? Oh, you really have forgotten, haven't you? Oh, you promised! Oh, I got caught pricing a job in town. Oh, what? And drove straight past the fancy dress shop on the way home? Oh, look, look, look at the time! I'll go back. I'll get the van off Jase. You know what? Forget it. Doesn't matter. I'll do it myself like I do everything else. Right, but 20 minutes. You won't be any longer. Oh, that's a good guy. Your costume's left. It's the busiest time of year. I'm going to need bacon going begging, have you, mate? You have to practice your goes. Oh. What's going on? Who's this? Chickas are quitting. I'll let you take a oh, picture. Oh, Simon! <laughs> it's not Simon, it's the ghost of Simon. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. A ghost that can't walk two walls. Careful, mate. You end up coming in that. Uh, in... Ow. Bruises. Oh, bruises. That's it. Look, there'll be loads of ghosts. No good. We need something better. Have a thing. Well, Max has got a Batman costume you could have. It's not very scary. Uh, Hey, do you know, that's my best Egyptian cotton. Perfect. You're going to be a mummy. A zombie mummy. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Whose idea was this? Uh, Two guesses. Oh, I'm going to break my hand. Hmm? Well, it worked, then. I went to see him. Gail, I told you to keep out of Hold it. That. Hold that. She's only asked him because she had no one else. You were proper off hand with him. Do you think they had you to do sure? this in Egypt? <sighs> Talk about frost as you can wait to get out of here. Oh, careful, mate. You're going to end up blue. Your mum will kill me. He thinks they've turned a corner. He's like a different man. Yeah, till she knocks him back again. Only this time will he get up again. There's only so much disappointment he can take. <laughs> Squash that, it's a favourite cream on. And I've put a few flapjacks in for a supper. Thank you very much. You'll enjoy those. FRB 
be arriving soon. Where's my dad with my costume? You're just missing by seconds, but here. It's left this. You could have brought it to the house. <laughs> yeah, well, he was in a rush. He had to dash off to a job, but I think you'll like it. Look, remember that film that we watched, The Adams Family, with Morticia and... Da -da! Heels? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Yep. And even some white powder, cos Morticia always looked like death warmed up, didn't she? Wait till Grace sees this. He's thought of everything. Yeah, well, make sure you do your makeup first because you don't want to get powder on your frock. What? Oh, Roy. You know what? If it was up to me, then I'd string Tim up from the nearest lamppost. But, well, she wants him at the party, so it doesn't matter what I think, does it? That's very generous of you. Well, as long as Faye's happy, I'm happy. I'll see you later. See you later. Evening. How's it going? Oh, so-so. You'll never get to Monaco on a so-so. Oh, well, it'll pick up. It's Friday night. And now my star barman is here. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Eileen, we're in lunchtime. In a funny mood. Oh, I take it you don't mean funny ha-ha. That's a permanent mood nowadays. Snappy. Bitter. With an added touch of self-indulgence. Mm. I can say that. Anybody else gets smack in the mouth. Quite right, too. I'm family. Of course you are. I just think she feels a bit washed up. Oh, I see. No, that's the trouble. I don't think you do. You're a different breed, Liz. You make things happen. You have adventures, good and bad. I can't say I'm ever bored. Eileen is. Rigid. The other night, I caught her going through my drawers. I thought, well, is she rifling through my wallet? Or is she trying to gain access to my secret diary? Have you got a secret diary? I can't answer that. I'd have to kill you. <laughs> no, Eileen couldn't rest until she'd paired up all my socks. And this on a day when the show reruns a rich man, poor man on the telly. Oh, I used to adore that. Oh, Falconetti. <laughs> Were you even born then? I've backtracked. Anything for Nick Nolte. <laughs> Matching socks, though. Eileen, this is not the slattern we all know and love. Could it be the fireman's influence? What, you think that she was under Paul's thumb? Pff, no way. No, Paul was a keeper. No one anybody else would have clung on, but not Eileen. She needs a girl's night out. Pronto. Uh, uh, they are creepy crawly cakes and for the kids, not you. Oh, yeah. Hey, you two. I'm just going to chuck them out. Hey! Yeah. Oh, will you look at those girls? <laughs> they may think she's Kim Kardashian. Kylie. Kylie Kardashian. Kylie Jenner. I know. Nothing, obviously. <laughs> Can I get you a drink, love? Halloween blood punch with real eyeballs or lethal lemonade. <laughs> oh, just a nice cup of tea. <laughs> Should be wishing that punch had a... Uh, a vodka in it. <laughs> Don't be telling Anna that, even if it is true. Oh, ah, yeah, because we're all so clean living us. <laughs> yeah, she only drinks on the days with wine and them. Hey. Oh, watch out, Queen Bee's arrived. Amy, Max, Sai, Grace. These are my homies. You know, from round here. Who me, me? <laughs> How do you mean that thing? <laughs> Blimey, me, where's she come from? The West End. Yeah, well, that's our Grace. She doesn't do things by halves. <laughs> Grace's mum sent these. Ah, oh, I'll just stick these in the kitchen. Oh, Mum, Mum. Grace's makeup's like an owl. It's nice, but what she calls a tramp. <laughs> I love this. Dad's a genius for picking it. What's your favourite part? You. <laughs> I think mine's the wig. I feel like Simon's step mum. Carla, don't worry, you say that. I think I'm gonna grow my hair this long. Oh, picture. Oh, right, okay. Grace, me and you, picture. You know, girls. Cheese. Yeah, it's on its way, love. I think there might be some roadworks at uh, Paul Robeson Estate. Yeah, I'll be with you soon. No worries, love. All right, bye. Hi. Is Steve about? Yeah, in the corner, hiding under an invisibility cloak. He's out driving. Oh. I see uh, your mood has not improved, then. Well, Antonio Banderas could walk in here in and out but baby oil and a smile, and I'd be like, huh, whatever. Blimey. That is bad. I could offer you hard drugs, but apparently you get addicted and also I wouldn't know where to get them. <laughs> Aha! That is a smile! Stop it. Look, why don't you come to Rovers later? Because I'm skint till payday and I can't get drunk on tap water. Well, the one perk of having your own boozer is that you can stand your mates a few freebies. <laughs> no, I don't like to be cheeky. Well, start. I will see you later. All right. Thanks, Liz. <laughs> <sighs> Hi. 
Hello, streetcars. Eileen speaking. How may I help you? All right. Hi, kids. Whoa. Wow, somebody's been busy. It's amazing oh. what you can do on a budget when you use your imagination. Oh, see? One more crack like that and she'll be wearing them teeth for toenails. Deep breath and count to ten. Tap up. Oh, sorry, you're going to have to give me a clue. Oh, you're not going to get off that easy. Think, woman. Um, how I carry on screaming, remember? Mm -hmm. Crying tonight. tonight. <laughs> Come on, you must know. Oh, come on, Sal, at your age, eh? There's no excuse. Diddle it. Oh, Morticia Adams family, of course. Ain't you brilliant? See, most dads would have gone out and bought something lame like an evil fairy. Oh, well, you know, expect there wasn't much left in the shops. Yeah, the busiest time of year. Do you know who you remind me of? Is it Jessie J before she shaved her head? That's what Grace reckons. My Rosie. When she was 14, she turned into a doll. And she would have killed for that frock. Oh, it's steady, it's steady. Boys, boys, keep it down, yeah? We'll be starting the games in a minute. How are you feeling, Nicky? You're right. Uh, yeah, yeah, fine, yeah. When you think where I was two months ago. Death's door, are you? Sorry? But things were, were grim for you, you know, after the accident. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. tubes and I can breathe without machine. You know, they thought I wouldn't pull through. Well, life must look pretty good now, eh? Where's your mummy, mummy? Our real mum's dead, my other mum's at work. She didn't make your costume then. It shows. Yeah, that was me. I was never a stick, I can't do lots. Scout. What did I say? You were never a stick. Uh, yeah, I wasn't one of them either. He gets his words mixed up sometimes. Ah, you think that's bad? I walk into rooms and suddenly wonder what I'm doing there. Like this one right now. <laughs> we could be in the pub. We could be in the pub? Did you really just say pug? Hey, boy, fetch a stick. Hi! Oh, we're popular. We are a lot today. David, we're in earlier. On his own. Shall I have a wine? I'm not in the mood for wine. I thought it were taking up residence. <laughs> Red's nice on a day like this. Could I interest you in a fruit-based cider? Ah, now, didn't David have one of them? Yep. Uh, I asked him if he'd any photos of the baby, you know, on his phone. Uh, Lily, was it, she was christened? She is called Lily, yes. Juice, I'll keep a clear head. Said I might pop over to the party later. Extra pair of hands in case the kids get too giddy. Oh, is that your fancy dress? <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> Wicked Witch of the West. Wouldn't that make me a friend of Doris's? Oh, Gail. You are down with the gays, aren't you? Open-minded. That's me. Right, uh, Doc Apple is up first. Back to Amy. Come on, Come on down. Hey. Hey. Well, Woo! Hands behind your backs. Get ready. Oh, let's take that off. Don't want to get that wet. Ready, steady, go! Cool. Well, Faye and Simon, then. Yeah, right. Come on, Faye, don't be a party pooper. Get stuck in. Dad, that's us for babies. Come on, let's change the music. Is everyone going to bob about in someone else's spit? Uh, Simon and Billy, then. Come ready, boys? I vote we back up on the invitation to the future. She's a smart that girl with interest in. Oh, she's she's just vain. She's nearly a teenager. Oh, no, that's more than that. She's got an age of man I don't know. Hey, I'll tell you another good one to do. The sound of music. Oh, let me guess. You went as Julie Andrews in a wimple. <laughs> Give me some credit. I went as the actual The Hilda Alive. AstroTurf cape, complete with mountain goats, shepherds... Nazi soldiers. Sprigs of Edelweiss. <laughs> <clears throat> Even though I say so myself, it was a triumph of modern costume room. Sounds it. <laughs> Less so on the night bus home. Although it did strike up a lovely sing-song and the driver let me ride for free, so... I'm not cut out for fancy dress. 
I'm too shy. Oh, shy my eye. Uh, Liz, remember, the customer's always right. She has got a right gob on her when it suits. <laughs> Inhibited, then. <laughs> Is all that getting into character, thigh-high boots and clingy cat suits <laughs> like Dan Deeney at the disco? <laughs> well, you on a milk run to Gev's. No offence. Oh, none taken, I mean. We all live in our own little musicals. Isn't that right, Sean? Now, Gail <laughs> would be Dolly Parton in 95. Whereas me, I'd be... Dolly, Dolly Parton. Parton. Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> Again. They look costume or A costume? Is that what you call it? I thought it was a load of old rags. Whatever. Whatever. That bloke who's not your dad. His name's Nick. Rags with stick. That's funny. <laughs> Are you his carer? No. Does he bang his head against the wall? No, do you. Does he rock in the corner? No, do you. Does he dribble? But he's wrong in the head, right? No. Was he married to your dead mum? That's one of your business. Oh, is that the dad who stinks of ciggies? Who's the mum who couldn't be bothered making you a costume? Just shut your face. Nick! Nick, can we go? Oh. Oh, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> What's up with all of you? Do you think I can hear you sniggering behind my back? Yeah. How do you like that? You happy now? For God's sake, stop it. You're scaring them. Back in half an hour.